Hello, John Dersick here with the Ohio Department of Transportation in the Office of CAD and Mapping Services. And this video is going to go over how to switch spec gears when dealing with item master and general summary. So, in the general summary file, switching spec gears is really easy. So, you can do this from the general summary sheet or the simple form sheet. Both of these sheets have a spec gear section, and when you click on the cell that says 2013, there's a pull down, and you can select 2016. So when I do this, it's going to go through and fix all the formulas to point at the item master for 2016. That is the same thing you can do on the simple form sheet. So you see, you notice that it changed 2016, so they will stay in sync. Now, again, a copy of the item master is inside this gensum file, and that's what all the formulas are hitting. So that copy needs to be updated periodically to get the changes that happen day to day. You know, that's using the refresh item master button will do that. Now, when you hit that button, it's only going to update the item master for the spec year that is set. So, and then the, the time and date it was last updated is displayed right above it. So, again, it's only for one. It's not going to update both of them. It's only going to update the one that's selected. So that's how you can update or switch between spec years inside the gensum file. Now if you guys have seen, I have released some sub-summary sheets that follow a similar process. And there's a whole YouTube series on automating the general summary, which I'll put a link in the description. Um, but for updating those files to hit a spec year, I'm going to go through that now. So, uh, if you have not seen that there is an item master add in now, um, go check out the U YouTube series on automating general summary because there is a video on this item master add in. So, I'm going to switch over to a sub summary sheet. You know, I already opened them, but we have, I have released these standard summary sheets uh, in the January 2016 update. So I just opened one of them. So um, you look at that YouTube series to um, get more information but basically this, the sub-summary sheets are set up in a similar manner to the general summary sheet where you know formulas are going to fill out this info for you. And the, the main difference is instead of the sub-summary sheets having a copy of the item master inside the file itself, all the sub-summaries are linking to the item master add-in. So all of them hit the same thing rather than every single add-in file or every single sub-summary file having a copy of the item master inside of it. You know, that's just not the way I wanted to go with this. So you can see if I insert an item that the formulas are filled out. So in the add-in, since all these sub-summaries are linking to the add-in to get the item master data, you can switch between the spec years for any sub-summary sheets you want by using the add-in. So this is done through the fix links button which again check the the other YouTube video series and there's a whole video going through all of the add-in and everything it can do um, I will mention that I did have a video of the add-in uh, up there for the January 2016 um, but I have made several changes to it so I redid that video for the April 2016 update so if you had looked at it between these 
co last couple of months, I'd say give it another shot or a look at. So using the fix links button, I can go and select, I can hit that add files button to select all the subsummary files that I would want to maybe change the spec here. Um, so I'll just select that one. You can add as many as you want. And then in the link to section, you pretty much set. So say I wanted this to be 2016 spec. I can just select that toggle and hit fix links. And it went through and fixed the links. So now I know if a link was broken, it fixed those links to the item master as well as it's linking to 2016. Um, a quick way to check that out is in the formulas tab. If I hit name manager, you'll see there's new two named ranges. And when you see that it's linked to the item master add in file for query item add in two. If there's a 2 there, that means it's linked to 2016 data. If there's no 2, that means it's linked to 2013 data. So a very simple way to set your spec use for what you want to use. I mean, I envision you just go and select all your subsummary sheets for a given project and just fix the links and then you'll be good to go. So any additional questions, please you know contact me, email me. Uh, but definitely, if you ha haven't seen this item master adding, go check out that video. It's the second video in the Automating Journal Summary um, YouTube video series, and I'll put a link to that in the video description. So, see you guys next time.